the President's Commission for the Study of Ethical Problems in Medicine and Biomedical and Behavioral Research was a bioethics organization in the United States. Topic: <laughs> Purposes. This congressionally mandated group was formed in November 1978, by Public Law 95-622, succeeding the National Commission for the Protection of Human Subjects of Biomedical and Behavioral Research. It was created to study bioethical issues such as the effects of income and residence on the availability of healthcare, the definition of death, patient consent, human research subjects, and genetic engineering, counseling and testing. The Commission met a total of 28 times and ultimately published 11 reports, two of which were made up of three volumes, on these topics and their implications. These reports expanded upon ideas originally established in the 1945 Nuremberg Codes and the Belmont Report. Additionally, a guidebook for institutional review boards was published by the Commission in 1981. Topic: History. Jimmy Carter appointed the 11 original members of the commission in July of 1979, and the Senate confirmed Morris B. Abram as the chairman of the commission on September 29, 1979. The commissioners were sworn in by Judge David L. Bazelon at the White House on January 1, 1980, and proceeded to hold the first meeting that day. Six additional commissioners were sworn in as replacements were needed. The commission worked independently from January 1980 to March 31, 1983 when its authority expired. The meeting files, correspondences, and unpublished papers from the commission are currently held in the Bioethics Research Library Kennedy Institute of Ethics at Georgetown University. Multiple government-formed organizations continued to fulfill the Commission's purposes after its expiration, most specifically the Bioethical Medical Advisory Committee which was created in 1988. <laughs> Publications Its publications included Defining Death 1981. Protecting Human Subjects 1981 Whistleblowing in Biomedical Research 1981 IRB Guidebook 1981 Compensating for Research Injuries 1982 Splicing Life The Social and Ethical Issues of Genetic Engineering with Human Beings 1982 Making Health Care Decisions 1982 Deciding to forego sick life-sustaining treatment 1983 Implementing human research regulations 1983 Screening and counseling for genetic conditions, the ethical, social, and legal implications of genetic screening, counseling, and education programs 1983 Securing access to health care 1983 Summing up 1983 Topic. Eleven original members appointed by Jimmy Carter Morris B. Abram Mario Garcia Palmieri René Claire Fox Albert Rupert Johnson Patricia A. King Matilde Krim Donald N. Medaris Fritz C. Redlich Charles J. Walker Topic. Replacement commissioners and years sworn in Francis K. Graham 1980. Carolyn A. Williams 1980. George R. Dunlop 1982. Dea B. Rahi 1982. Seymour Siegel 1982. Lydia Hare Smith 1982. Topic. See also Human experimentation in the United States Biomedical Ethical Advisory Committee 
Advisory Committee on Human Radiation Experiments National Bioethics Advisory Commission President's Council on Bioethics Belmont Report Institutional Review Boards